Hello everyone, welcome back uh, to my video and uh, as usual, we will go through another lecture on uh, for basic multimedia and web technology courses CFT 1063 and as for today, we, we will talk about uh, week 8 topic which is elements of multimedia uh, another elements of multimedia and uh, which is uh, interactivity Okay, let's uh, go through it Okay, uh, let's go through the slide together. Uh, the first one is, as a user, we will uh, uh, the the learning outcomes uh, at the end of the lesson. You should be able to give correct definition of interactive in interactivity in multimedia. Uh, name multimedia products uh, which have the element. Ele Element of interactivities, uh, simplify interactivity as an effective element in multimedia presentation. And uh, the fourth one is the list down ways to improve user interface and user experience. Okay, so this is some quote from Edwin Schlossberg. Uh, in interactivity is not about clicking on icons or downloading files. It's about encouraging communication so from what from the quotation from the quotes uh, we what we can understand is uh, interactivity is beyond on what it's capable of uh, we, we might uh, see that the, the function of the interactivity is just by clicking and uh, scrolling and all but actually it's it's what deliver what's what's this impact that will uh, reach the audience that that matters okay so what is interactivity Inter <coughs> interactivity in multimedia is the ability of a computer to respond to a user's input interactivity offers multiple choices or scenarios uh, where the viewer choose what to do or explore so when a media is depending on the user's input and the user's input affect the program's output the program is called interactive media <coughs> so to simply put interactivity uh, on a media uh, media content require input from the user and output from the media itself so to simply put interactivity happen when uh, a user will give input to the media content uh, and the media respond to the input given by the user by uh, by giving an appropriate output to the user okay so it's uh, one of example of uh, input and output is like the the simple example is be by clicking a button so whenever a user let's say you are going through a website that have a certain button that will direct you to the uh, another page for the website so um, so in order to get to another page for the website you need to click the button you can be uh, you uh, in this case uh, will be will become a user okay when you click the button the action of you clicking the button is is defined as you giving an input to the media in this case it's a website when you have given the input by clicking a desired button for you to redirect to be directed to the to a desired page that you want the media will respond by giving an output which is directing you to 
the page that you have clicked. So that is a this a this a phenomenon is called uh, is interactivity between you and the website. All right. So interactive media can combine various multimedia elements in a presentation. So it can be not just a simple button. It can be a combination of gra graphic, text, video, animation, or audio, and and so and even application. All right. So. So example of interactive me interactive media we platform we have a social networks okay for example like uh, it can be in a social network like TikTok or Facebook or Instagram and YouTube and so on so where you have to interact with the application to 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 get your desired output that you want. For example, in TikTok, if you want to move to the next video, you have to swipe up. Just okay, swipe up, and it will uh, bring you to another video in a TikTok. So this action of swiping up is a uh, is an input from you, and uh, bringing the next video is output from the uh, platform. Right. So it could also be in a mobile apps, websites. Uh, this is the most common that we will learn uh, in this class uh, ebooks e-commerce video games uh, video game will definitely uh, use uh, uh, interaction with you since you have to control the game by giving a appropriate input for the uh, for the npc character to, uh, sorry for the for the character that you you playing can uh, react and giving us appropriate output to you. Uh, AR and VR. Uh, so another is Cosware and e-learning uh, kiosks. Uh, this is for example that when you want to order something in the at McD McDonald's, you will have to order it using a kiosk. So it also require interactivity. Uh, also, uh, even as simple as presentation, presentation slide that I use now, I have to click on the next button to bring me to the next page. Alright. So also, uh, the interactivity also have advantages and disadvantages of interactive media. So let's see what is the pros and cons uh, for having an interactive media. So the pros is intuitive and persuasive, uh, meaning it could be intuitive and persuasive to the user. User are more proactive. Uh, the involvement of the user in the in the media also has increased, so it become more proactive. Help users to accomplish some things, meaning that it give autonomy to the user to to decide what he or she want to do uh, within the media. So the cons is uh, it also can be addicted to a certain user uh, and uh, requires great amount of time and effort to plan a good interactive media. Meaning that also, although you can see that the interactive video that have been included in the, in the media content is as simple as click and uh, simple and click and drag and all. But before you could, could come to it, you it's require a great amount of time uh, and effort uh, to plan uh, the and design the interactivity within the con within the in interactive media. Okay, so uh, that's uh, things that you have to consider before having interactivity in your media. Okay, when a user wants to operate in an an interactive media, interactive element has to be presented in the form of graphical user interface. Okay. Um, user experience also okay. So the graphical user interface, also known as uh, the, using an abbreviation GUI, and also user experience also and also known as, uh, as UX. The abbreviation for user experience is a UX, is a person's emotions and attitudes about using a particular product, system, or service. Okay, meaning that when you are engaging or encounter an, an interactive media, it will 
will be presented in the form of a certain format or certain layout and uh, arrangement and this is uh, this layout arrangement and interactivity is is called graphical user interface so what you see when you open in certain apps you can see it's, it's uh, been lined up uh, in the certain uh, arrangement and layout that is called a uh, graphical user interface and uh, user experience in the other hand is uh, when you have to go through the application you experiencing the interactivity and what that reflect to you the emotions the attitude of you when uh, engaging with the interactive is interactivity is called user experience so these are the things that uh, the multimedia designer have to understand before designing a certain uh, application or website all right so let's see a uh, gui a graphical user interface is a system of interactive interactive visual component for computer software a GUI display object that convey information and represent action that can be taken by user. So this is a uh, for example of GUI uh, that I've explained before. It's a layout. It's an arrangement of of that that fr from the media that allow the user to understand and um, digest what the, the interactive media can offer to the user and what the user can do and can can decide to do within the interactive media content okay okay so uh, this is also another apps that also quite known well known among the user in Malaysia is a shopping app it's a shopping apps uh, so the graphical graphical uh, element uh, with the button okay is called gui and well organized gui will improve the user experience meaning that when you encounter uh, uh, engaging with the user uh, with the web application that have a proper arrangement good color combination of design and uh, also well designed in terms of interactivity, meaning that you doesn't doesn't have to do something that weird to, which meaning that it's a friendly, the interactivity offer is also friendly to you, meaning that it's something that you are simi, uh, you are used to or familiar with and easy for you to, to operate, and this will lead to the better experience to the user. And uh, this better experience is a, is a, is a, is a UX lah. Okay, that I've explained before. And then um, for the GUI, it must be intuitive. Okay, it has to be consistent. Uh, of course, consistent. You cannot do the first page you design it like this, and the second page you might want to design something else that is not consistent. It it will make uh the user become confused with the the how how they want to go through your uh media, and then it has to be organized uh in a sequence or hierarchy is better. Uh, of course, should clear and not messy at all. So. Uh, it, it this is to avoid user become uh, disappointing and uh, distracted uh, and disturbed with the with the GUI. Okay, so here are some ways to obtain good interactivity. So you have to remember bad UI, user interface, also can be considered as GUI graphical user interface makes bad UX user experience okay so if you compare between these two uh, GUI or U UI interface you might find that uh, if you use uh, colors that is too much color it will become hard to read for the user and it will uh, 
it give a bad user experience to the user so avoid using too much color uh, and too much icons and color use okay so it make it bad make it hard to read and so this is an example for good ui is simple and consistent and pleasing to the eyes also important and then uh, reduce the number of text decoration um, so on your left side is a bad text in ui okay you can see it's a have a bad text in ui this is a older version of uh, gui normally for the website during the millennium era you can see it's full of text and uh, less uh, graphic and icon because uh, during that time uh, text is the most easy way to be input to the website because it it's a uh, uh, light in terms of size and also will not burden the the website loading but nowadays with the advance, advancement of uh, internet technology uh, we have uh, leverage of having a good graphic image and without having to uh, suffer on the on the performance of the website so this uh, on your right hand side is an example of having a good text in GUI okay so you might you might want to compare between these two and you can uh, I'm, I'm pretty much sure that most of you will find that this one is, uh, as a good text in GUI but if you find this one is better the, the the left side is better from the right one you might consider checking yourself uh, and having some help okay um, so this is another example uh, between uh, two uh, different GUI and uh, we're having a different impact for your for the UX user experience so uh, the next tip is use sensory font uh, so normally sensory font are better on the web and easier for a user to read okay you, but doesn't mean that you cannot use a uh, serif font but try avoid if you can uh, but if you still have to use a uh, serif font for certain purposes uh, you might want you might need a good reason and good uh, arrangement and application to into it okay so next one is color make make some research on color schemes do not simply put any colors okay so before having before building your website for example or your application you need to do a set research on the color scheme that require for the website and cons be consistent with the color scheme so this for example this is uh, this is the gui over here this is a theme for the user and this is the color scheme it means the color palette that that where what kind of color that will be will use in the gui okay and then when you have come with the color palette so stick with the color palette throughout your building your uh, interactive media for example and in this case is for your website assignment later on okay next is follow the trend minimal and flat design okay nowadays uh, we have uh, embracing another uh, the phase where most of the design have been using a flat design okay so this is considered a flat design where is uh, it's a flat lah, flat and minimal so in contrary with the previous uh, trend when i'm still studying uh, they at that time it, the trend is a web 2.0 where people will will uh, do something with a lot of uh, uh, embossing uh, gradient and all so it's still having a gradient but in the flat version meaning that the character will not really look uh, 3d uh, so that, that's why it's called a flat design okay so uh, follow the trend because uh, the trend will will also it will make your design uh, become familiar and uh, closer to the audience uh, so this you have you might want to research a trend appropriate trend before 
coming up with your own design. Uh, next is wash the blank space. So using padding consistently to create alignment. Uh, so this is also you need to in a, in order to get a good uh, user interface, good design. You also might want to uh, properly have a good alignment between uh, every page and all. Okay, be consistent. Uh, okay, so use startup wizard help the user. Uh, this is when you want to design an application. Uh, you might want to consider having a startup wizard that allow the user to give certain input for that you that, that help the user in throughout going through your application. Okay. Uh, this is a storyboard for the multimedia uh, application. So well, this is a this is something that you will have to prepare before designing your website or your application. So this is for you to plan what from this page will bring to and what page and what what button uh, direct to what uh, content and all. So be well organized and be. Uh, you have you might want to arrange it in in form of hierarchy okay and okay this is a help pop up uh, may, maybe you want to add some pop up to, uh, to remind the user or to direct the user about certain issue and all okay uh, that you that the user have to prepare for your while using your application okay Okay, for the next tips is uh, use control that has extra visual elements, but make it minimal. Meaning that you can also uh, uh, add some uh, another uh, some experience to the certain control. For example, by uh, clicking sounds, the sounds that you uh, put into the control. Uh, uh, also will enhance the interactivity between the user and the and the media. Also, uh, sh maybe you you might want to add set some uh, another extra features to the same control. Uh, for example, like show more or show less that kind of things. Uh, that also helps you instead of having instead of the needs to having a lot of button, you can also. Make it simple as having one, but it's also uh, another features or button will can be hide in a certain button uh, by using the show more, show less, that kind of things. And also for apps, uh, you can also uh, use uh, gestures for the control, uh, such as sweeping, pinching, and all. And uh, yes, uh, after click effects, meaning that once the user have clicked a certain button maybe it can uh, it, it will, uh, you can add some effects to to give more depth to your user uh, and apply something you can see in notable social media and website okay meaning that uh, you might want to apply something familiar to the user uh, uh, also included in your website okay so yeah that's it for today uh, I hope you understand my lecture well and uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, you can proceed with the further uh, further understanding during, during the tutorial session with your designated a tutor tutorial uh, lecture and uh, until you say again uh, see you next time and uh, thank you for watching all right assalamualaikum and have a good day stay safe during the flood uh, season during the, this monsoon season okay i think that's it for now and yeah assalamualaikum and have a good day thank you